can you expect yearly interest from stock market so i had uh, seen so many of my clients asking me can i expect some monthly returns or yearly returns from stock market so this video is for people who are expecting this kind of uh, questions and this kind of returns from stock market so hi hello this is uh, ganesh antiru your stock market profit coach and i help you in creating wealth please subscribe to my this channel so that you get unlimited wealth in your life so do you want a monthly returns or yearly returns from stock market right so if that is the case i have seen so many people uh, investing in fixed deposits and they want better returns they don't know where to put their money and that too in stock market they are interested but don't know what to do if that is the case one beautiful option is investing in dividend stocks though it is not uh, fixed but you will get dividends in that range for uh, they had given in the last few years and they might give in the future also along with stock market growth is it not a good option and i think so many people investing in mutual funds for dividend purpose instead of putting there why can't you put your money in dividend stocks and uh, leave asset as yearly you will be getting 7 to 10% is it not more than enough because in fixed deposits you are going to get only 5 to 6% and some of these stocks are given more than that so that is the reason i'm telling you why can't you put it in uh, this kind of companies right so dividend stocks you need to choose because uh, why dividend stocks and mostly preferred dividend stocks are psu public sector units and ultimately government has uh, have a huge stake in psu uh, public sector units and they will just get, uh, and they need money government needs money so i am running i am running psu companies and uh, for that how will i make money and with that only i need to spend for other things right so what they will do is once psu companies are making profit or whatever they they just give give back the money to them in the form of dividends so as a government needs money from psu companies and uh, if you are invested in psu stocks you will also get some returns uh, year on year right that is a idea simple idea so if that is a case just think of uh, month yearly if you are getting 7 to 10% uh, out of it and uh, the dividends are calculated based on stock price the stock price is around uh, say around 100 rupees and you are getting dividends of around uh, uh, 9% for every 100 rupees you are going, going to get 9% so if you are investing 1 lakh you're going to get 9000 rupees which you, which in the case of fixed deposits you're not even going to get anything out of it just 5000 rupees or 6000 rupees right yearly you're going to get 9000 rupees if the if the stock is around uh, not 100 rupees if it is going less or more you you will be getting the dividends and even if the stock is going high you are invested when the stock price is 100 rupees and if the stock price is going high your dividends is going to be same but the dividend yield instead of 9% it might show 5% or 6% but anyway you are going to get the same price right now almost all the psu companies are battered like anything they are available at damn cheap prices so you can start accumulating so if you want to invest 1 lakh rupees in stock market so invest some 20000 right now 20% of the that is idea 20% of it so slowly increase your investments portfolio so which will grow to the next level so is this idea worth it so just keep trying understand just check some stocks ongc oil india indian oil corporation and ntpc nmdc and these are some of the companies and if you go to google and click uh, Uh, dividend uh, dividend stocks and stock market uh, dividend stocks in india you will get a huge list and choose some stocks psu stocks and out of it and do some basic analysis of whether uh, you can for example coal india has been good and they have been giving around 8 to 9% which is a huge good returns right and the stock price is almost very low from the time of listing and they are the monopoly and for sure if government is taking radical step for the improvement this the companies will grow so if that is the case just think of investing in some good companies so that you make some good money every year fix it and to tell you this 6 to 7% or 9% is just a standard return you are going to get and along with that if the stock price is increasing by at least 10% in a year you are sitting in a profit of 18 to 20% 15 to 20% easily bare minimum you are going to get in a psu stocks is it not good enough you are investing 1 lakh and you are going to get 20% in a year that to safe right so this is what you are you know trying to invest in uh, some of the dividend making mutual funds and you are not getting it and saying that dividend they are reduce and what to do and all these things but if the stock price is increasing that is one advantage and the dividend fixed income even if they are increasing or decreasing putting both together you are going to get some uh, close to 15% bare minimum is it not good instead of 6% fighting for 6% and 0.5% and Uh, fixed deposits and post offices 
so easily you're going to make some 15% bare minimum so just go and check if you feel it is good to invest go for it and please post your reviews in the comment section so that i can answer your questions overcome the fear and see what is available on the other side of fear it's huge returns so thank you so much for watching please share this video with your friends and click the subscriber button if you had loved this video thank you